have no race and neither his families. No families. Some more questions? You got some? Yeah, I can fucking do that too. So what? Well, I seen a little lady, and she was bending over. Cause she just stood in dark shit, and by chance a fall leaf over. So I made my way beside her, said my house is round the block. We'll go and clean up that dark shit, then I'll show you my big clock, and we'll see if we have time. To maybe have a drink So why don't you stop swearing And just tell me what you think So we ended up at my place And we cleaned off both the shoes And suddenly my pants were down And I was saying How'd you do? So this is where the magic happens This is a I, I fucking I write Things in this place Keyboard Plays the letters, and I, I perform the letterage, and those letters make words. I put those words together, and I come up with sentences. And I keep writing, and then, so you got the words, the sentences, the paragraphs, and eventually you got a fucking story. I like to write stories, songs. I, I write about everything. So the new business, how's that going? It's on the fucking phone. Hello? Um, yes, Johnny. Ups and downs. I Why took over a company happen? from a couple of fucking mooches. Yes, fucking mooches. About. This will be uh, Mike. Huey and, yeah. Mike K. And uh, Huey Brennan. Couple of fucks. Who uh, took a bit of persuading. They had a fucking. And they haven't been seen for how long is it? I, th I think they went on holidays or, you know, you know what I'm saying. To visit uh, the Uncle Peter, apparently, on a boat somewhere. But I uh, know I ain't seen him for a long time. But And it's fair to say it wasn't really going that well when you took it over. And it's sort of gone downhill from there. If it wasn't for me pulling those pricks out of the shit, they'd be in the shit. Eating shit. <laughs> Fucking eating shit. Making shit films. So I don't know where you get your fucking little questions from right now. Your fucking questions saying it's gone down the shitter. Fuck. Christ. Guys in my house should have fucking broads in my house. Sucking dicks. But instead, I got guys. Not sucking dicks. Not yet anyway. So should we talk a little bit about um your... Music, uh, a producer more, really, wasn't Well, it? I write songs, I produce songs, I dream about songs. This would be the um, uh, someone who auditioned for one of the X Factor yeah. um, programs. Yeah. But didn't make it through the first. No, no, no. He's shit. He's he's an absolute prick. But he, his daddy's got lots of. Maybe I shouldn't be saying this on film in case he sees it. Uh, but I'm milking this the fuck out of this guy. He uh, he's got a voice like I don't know, like a fucking a, a K. 
cat being raped by a fucking elephant in the mouth. You know what I mean? Oh, but, well, there, there's been some good um, good press about that. I mean, one one newspaper press. wrote that it, it was the fucking new press. the new Roman man, fucking oh. Roman Roman new Roman Keating Roman Keating. Actually, um, he was he got run over by someone who looked like Ronan Keaton. And I said at the hospital, maybe you should go out as a tribute. I called Roman Keaton. So we dressed him in toga and he used to go out just singing Ronan Keaton songs as Roman Keaton. But uh, it was shit. Well, I mean, you're, you're nothing if not varied. I mean, you've you've got well, into country music with, um, what, what's his name? His name is Johnny Gash, and he's done a track called Bruised. Um, Which is quite, I mean, it, it was um, uh, quite famous at once. He, he used to play a lot of clubs. And he played, he played everywhere. He played, he, he played like, he played the, all, the, all the pubs. You call them pubs? I call them pubs. He played all those places. He played all the working men's clubs. And he done a lot of, lot of shit for charity. That guy, he, uh, they, those old, old women. Jesus Christ, you should have seen the fucking mess they made on those seats. Whenever he played, he got his guitar out. He might as well be fucking stroking his cock on their faces. By the time they were finished, and he was finished, there wasn't a dry ass in the room. So big things for Johnny. Big, huge. He's in Nashville at the minute. In Nashville with his uh, his backing band, the Fingertips. Johnny Gash and the Fingertips. Yeah, he loves fingering people as well. He loves it. He absolutely loves fingering people. Soak up the balls and wear the sham. A motherfucker, don't you laugh. I know that it's all bruised. That's cause I've been self-abused. And then at the other end, almost total opposite is um the Zhang. Uh, yeah, the Zhang, my hip hop maestro. She was a beast. She was a beast, motherfucker. Two left feet, but she danced like a sucker. See, I've never danced like that before. Oh no. The Zhang, I uh. I orphaned him as a boy. Uh, <laughs> his, uh, his daddy owed me money and things got a bit out of hand and the mom got in the way as well, so I orphaned him. So I felt like was, I was obliged to bring that little fucker up. Little de Zhang de Jong. So is that, I mean, there's a lot of anger in, in, in his... Yeah, but not towards me, because I'll fucking kill him as well. You know what I mean? It would say in self-defense. I'd kill him in self-defense. You know, like I killed his mom and dad in self-defense, and that was proved in, in court. Your first marriage, um... To an Austrian hooker. She was an Austrian hooker, right? She was an Austrian hooker. Okay. My first marriage. She disappeared. I didn't, I didn't know what happened to her. She just... Uh, it wasn't, wasn't a long marriage. Four days. I, four days. There are some um, pictures of her, mm -hmm. but not many. Mm -hmm. So you think she's still... Um, I know she is. Mm -hmm. She emails me. Really? But via the post. I mean, you know they, they closed the case. Um, well, there wasn't, there wasn't a case to close. It was a, it was, it was a box. We didn't even have a lid on it, so how could you close it? Not a case, it's a box. Because for a long time, me, I mean, you were you were quite a uh, suspect. But they couldn't prove that those legs were hers. They couldn't prove that just because the face that they found resembled her, they, they, there was no prints on it. Um, and ironically, when the cops burst in, Prince was on the radio. The artist formerly now known as Prince still is. He was on the radio singing, you got the look. But this face that they found had no look. No Prince, no look. 
I mean, I must say, you you, you do look um, you look different from when we first met to, to speak about this. Um, you doing this uh, interview? Um, what, are you, what what are you trying to say? Well, you you look well um, younger. <sighs> Um, and you, and you... What are you trying to say? You, uh, <laughs> No, don't laugh! Don't fu- You think I'm wearing a wig? <laughs> you you think I got a fucking wig on? Hey! Where's the fucking... Where's the app button? That last part, I think that that's not going to make it to the cut. No, no, that, that, yeah. No, no I'm not asking, I'm telling you. Yeah. It's not going to make it to the cut. Okay, because if it does, maybe you'll be making it to the cut, if you know what I mean. I think he knows what I mean. No, we... Oh, yeah. that, okay? Just let me finish, and then you can fucking speak. Okay? Please. I never say please to people. Fucking please. Thank you. Anyway, I gotta go and make uh, some juice for you gay guys. And um, some proper fucking coffee. Coffee for myself. Would you like some coffee? Come on, come on, have some coffee. Yes, please, yes. Please. Come on. What's coffee? It's, uh, it's half coffee, half, half tea. It's, uh, my own invention. Fucking. Okay, so, uh, you, you asked us here to, um, well, it was... It, no, I, I think it was mutual. Well, you you, you phoned our office, um... Uh, only because someone said that you'd phone me. I, I, I was returning a phone call from, uh... from someone at your office. Okay. Anyway, we've... We've, we've, we've been getting uh, some mail and some, um... What, what kind of mail? Some telephone calls. Um, what kind of telephone calls? Not pleasant ones. What's that? Let me see. Um, Who's this? It's so, so Yo, fun. fuck nuts. All of you. Stay away from that prick, Johnny D. Or I die. Is that it? Well, there's a, there's an, it, he's called himself Sammy, uh, Sam, Sammy. Sammy? Fucking Sammy Salomono. Jesus Christ. That trick. That guy, um he's like he's like my nemesis or thinks he is. He's just some fucking schmoke who fucking thinks he's somebody. I grew up with Sammy. He's about four years older than me. Well he owns he owns quite a few um businesses that, that are, are rivals. Tell Sammy Tell Sammy Tell Sammy No, listen. Tell Sammy I I'm gonna... Ah, uh, well, he thinks it's a rival, but it's not. He's, he's fucking not. He's like a fucking piece of dog shit on my shoe. Sometimes you take your shoe off and you gotta blast it with the fucking hose pipe. That's what Sammy is. He's shit on my shoe. So it makes a bit of a mess now and again. But once you're fucking spraying with water, he's... Fuck him. He's a... He's nobody. I, I beat the fuck out of that guy when I was 12 years old. He was 16. I beat the fuck out of him in front of his mama. On his fucking stairs. I chased him all the way. He thought he was some fucking big fucking schmooze. I chased that guy for 44 miles. Running. Fat. As fat. I can't even speak. As fast as I can. No, it wasn't 44. It was 44 feet. I chased him for 44 feet. Into his house. We, he writes around me. Mama, mama, mama. It's fucking Johnny. Johnny's. Johnny's doing this, Johnny's doing that, mama, mama, mama. I fucking pushed his mama over. I just spat at you. I pushed his mama over, I got him on the stairs, and I beat the shit out of him. Six, 207, 208, 209, last fucking one. 
Make this one count, you son of a bitch. Two hundred and fucking ten. Yeah. That's not even his real name. His real name. And you know what? I don't want to talk about him anymore. Not, his real name is Fuck. That's his real name. Fuck shit, shoe. That's his name. He shit on my shoe. He can go and fuck himself. Fuck him. Sammy, I'm coming for you. You piece of shit. End off. Next. 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 That piece of shit. Okay. Call Mecca. And Slim Jim. Fat fuck. They'll know what to do. Call me back. Let me know what's going on. Piece of shit. Bye. Fuck. I notice, um. Yes. Say bye. You have some tape on your finger. What's the. Did you cut yourself? No. Wedding injury. Janine, my wife, ex-wife, she tried to bite my finger off with the wedding ring on, and I got fucking, I got this. Janine, my ex-wife, she bit my finger so hard to try and get the wedding ring off thing. Johnny, you fuck, why would you do that? You shouldn't be putting that inside there. And I was, you're, you're my wife. Fuck, I put it where I want. And, but, uh, it's, I'm fucking not do this to you. And I was asleep. So she started biting my finger. I woke up. I had to shook her off like she was a fucking dog. I, uh, uh, you know, anyway. She's, uh, I don't know where she is anymore. She's gone now. But because of the scar she left, my finger was almost hanging off. So I had to put some tape on to keep the finger on. But it doesn't work properly anymore. So yeah, I'm doing that, but it, but it's not really there, you know. So that's that's what that is. So it's it's sort of well, it's kind of like a wedding ring in itself. It must it must remind you of of her constantly. No. What reminds me of her constantly is every morning when I have a shit and I wipe my ass. And I put that shit stain roll in the fucking bowl and I flush. That's what reminds me of her every fucking morning. But I still love her. That piece of shit. What was school like? I never went to school. I, I, school of life. Lived on the streets, worked on the streets, fucked on the streets, pissed on the streets. I even shit on the streets. Sometimes when I was fucking like shit. It, that's just... That's how you grow up. I was, I grew up on the east south side of Brooklyn's Bronx Bridge. And, um, Jesus Christ, you couldn't get away with fucking murder there. You, uh, you, you tried. Um, I was, I was nine years old when I first. Yeah, I was nine when I first, first, first did it with a guy. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm joking, of course, I'm joking, of course. But he looked like Bette Midler. Anyway, next question. Do you want me to ask you a question? <laughs> Did you have any children? Yes. With Janine? Hundreds. Oh, with Janine? No. She, she, uh... She didn't want kids. There are some... pictures of, um... some children that we found that, um... Well, they, they look... um... What? <laughs> what? You're, he's laughing again? Uh, this guy. Christ. All he does is fucking they laugh. They look quite similar to you both. You're you trying to say Janine looks like me? How the fuck? Janine looks nothing like me. Well, it was just... It was just a... Um, but... But it was just a what? It was just a just fucking... Just the impression... Thing. I mean, dig, got. dig it up. We got all these kids to fucking look like Well, you, you gave us the, the photographs. Uh, uh, no, I didn't. 
You researched it on the internet. No, no, we... Well, we no, don't. no, no. You, you I've got, don't exist on the internet. I've got, uh... I've got, uh, kids. As you call them, kids. Um... All over different states of America. All different colors and creeds. So you don't keep in touch with any of your, your children? I, I keep in touch with them, but they don't keep in touch with me. I've tried. Uh, I had to beat the fuck out of the eldest one. She was a bitch. She was a uh, mousing off. Hey, Dad! Where have you been all my life? Where have I been? Fuck. Where do I begin? But just from the fucking beginning, daddy. Uh, fucking, how about you from the beginning? I fucking love. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, Christ. Kids. This is my favorite film of all time. Bet Middle is Beaches. As you can see, I have a number of copies just in case the VCR fucks up and snaps. So... I never get caught out. I've always got beaches at hand with this fucking Bette Midler and Barbara fucking Hershey. She can go and fuck herself though. It's all about Bette. All about Bette. Always has been, always will be. Fucking love Bette Midler. So you were in, you were in jail for... Five years. Five years. Um, and uh, what exactly was that over? Uh, I was doing a bank job and tried to put my dick in the teller. Um, they, well, there was also, um, he was bodily harmed. That was with my cock. Um, I grievously bodily harmed her with my cock. And, um, it was a bank job. Blow job. A blow job at the bank. Really, but, uh, yeah, I, I forced the issue, if you know what I mean. Um, but she was up for it, you know. She was a uh, ah, Johnny, you come to fucking make a deposit? Said yeah, over your fucking face. You know what I mean? Withdraw? I don't fucking withdraw, you motherfucker. Never have, never will. Anyway, fuck. So I, uh, it just happened that the judge was her dad. I got five years. 35 years, I, I served five. And uh, and actually when I came out, I, I started going out with the girl for a couple of years. Um, and her dad, who was the judge, tried it on with me one night. And in self-defense, I, I fucking killed him. Uh, so we split up. Um, I got away with that one, funny enough. So, uh, well, not got away because I didn't do anything. I was defending myself from this fucking schmooze. Fucking, you know, that's, that's that. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. That's what they fucking wrote. But that is bullshit. Fucking bullshit.
tried to touch me up in the park. You fuck, you tried to touch my ass in the dark. You stupid fuck. And now you got no legs, no faces. Cause I replace them with fucking waste. In the dark, in the park, where it's fucking dark. Yeah, now that's a fucking hit.